Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Team of Fire Reviews. My name is 97 Johnny Boy. I'm here with my co-host. Savage Acorn. What's going on, Savage? Nothing much, just some DC madness going on here on the TMFIA challenge. I'm loving this DC madness, loving it, loving the many reviews, I'm loving the gameplay going on here. I can't get enough of it. Can't Don't get stop enough. Of it. Get enough. Yeah, the just the gameplay. That's just so dang good. Can't get enough of it. But uh, today we're reviewing a very good movie. I say this as of right now. We had not reviewed Dawn of Justice yet, but uh, this is probably my favorite movie we're reviewing here this week. Yes, um, by and large, probably your favorite DC movie. Uh, you that? yeah, my favorite DC movie. Yeah, I like this more than uh, Assault on Arkham. I have to say. Yeah, I would agree. Assault on Arkham. It was just an enjoyable movie. It wasn't supposed to be like, oh, this is fucking great. This is the best thing ever. But Flashpoint, they kind of tried to make you go for that. Yeah, it was uh really interesting, and uh, I got to give them props for being creative but reasonable at the same time. Reasonably creative. Yeah. Like, there was nothing out of this world. But, um... So, the movie pretty much starts out with Flash. Just another day in Central City with the Flash. He's doing his thing, and, uh... Gets a call about, um... A couple goons get Captain Cold, and... What do they call it? The Rogue Team or whatever? Rogue. Basically, the, the people no one cares about who are villains of Central City. Yeah, Captain Cold, Boomerang, Heat Wave. No one really cares about those guys. Yeah, and then um, guess our buddy, what's his name, comes on um, reverse. Yes, the reverse Flash. No, it's Professor Zoom. Okay. Reverse Flash and um, Professor Zoom are on two different people, from my understanding. Yeah. Well, pretty much, uh, Professor Doom Zoom, excuse me, says, <laughs> uh, "Well, we've got you caught, um, Flash, and um, we're going to destroy the entire Central City." And he's like, says, "And all these guys here have bombs strapped to them." that I just put them on, and there's also a bomb on you, Mr. Flash, and then then you get the whole Justice League team coming down, cla crashing down through the roof. Who do we got here? We have Superman, we have Green Lantern, we have Batman, we have Sabugi, and who, we have who? Cyborg. Oh, sorry. I just put like a little weird spin on his name, Mm-hmm. We've um, been doing that, haven't we? Yeah. And that's pretty much it. They all come Captain in. Captain Adam. Uh, Aquaman. Oh, Adam and Aquaman, they come too. Wonder Woman was there, right? Oh, yes, yes, she was. Yes. Yeah, to take on, like, the likes of fucking Captain Cold, the entire Justice League. Like, come on, you scrubs. Think about it. If you have all these people squash one problem, things will be much better. Oh, yeah, just lobotomize them. Yeah, that's Superman. Justice just lobotomize Lords. everyone. Justice Lords of America. Yep. Hell yeah. I really, I like that storyline. A lot. I'm using one of them in my versus battles soon. Awesome. Screw and, um, it up the spoiler. It's gonna be um Injustice Superman, the evil one. Uh -huh. versus um, Justice Lord Superman. It's really interesting. So Fascist. yeah, they all come. They come and they put um Professor Zoom in some goop. Oh no, Flash is like I'm oh, no, Flash is he's like movie. moving his arms really quickly. He's like, You can't escape. He's like, I'm not trying to escape, so he lose him to the other side of the like old case like right in front of him and he's like well now we're both stuck here unless you defuse the bombs and he's like you can't defuse them and they're like Fuck. don't you think you'll die too and he's like i don't care <laughs> lol and so they all pretty much take the bombs in certain directions into the water above ground and they all defuse them and everything like that superman just goes up in the air and puts the bomb in his hand and just squeezes his hand yep and he's like you know this will be okay and it was okay. Yeah, so everyone defused the bombs on all their rogue characters. And Who defused the one on the uh, Zoom? Um, sh um, someone froze it. If I'm not oh, no, that was Captain Woman. Or Cat Cap what? <laughs> Captain <laughs> Woman? <laughs> Captain Woman. You know, fucking classic Captain Woman. Steve Rogers. Jesus Christ. Captain Woman. Wonder Woman. Takes mm. Captain Cold's freeze ray gun and just freezes it. I'm thinking, why didn't they just do that to all of them? You would think. You would think, but hey, you gotta make everyone look cool. Gotta get everyone over. Yep, there you go. Everyone's gotta get their shit in. And then, uh, pretty much, the like, whatever. They pretty much stop all the, the whole crew there and Zoom. And then, um, Flash wakes up and he sees a little news report and it says, like, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Captain Cold and Boomerang are fighting outside a museum. He's like, wow, they already got out of prison? And he runs outside. He's like, well, I need to go fucking take care of business again, because I just did this shit yesterday. 
and then he runs into someone. He runs into his mom, which yeah, is so baffling because the whole story of Barry Allen is he got his pretty much his uh, upstart when his mom was murdered by the reverse flash when he was a young boy. Yes. And he's like, what the fuck, mom, why are you here? And she's like, oh, you can take me out for my birthday and shit. And so they go out there, and he's like, I'm the Flash, I'm a hero. And she's like, shut you the fuck up. forgot that he has a girlfriend, Flash has a girlfriend, and his girlfriend, he's in his office. Iris, yeah. And Iris, he sees Iris, and he's like, hey, it's Iris. Hey, this, baby. And they, <laughs> this other dude's like, hey, baby. You know, yeah, with the little kid, and he's like, she's walks like, around, she's like, daddy got me some cool things, it was so fun. It was really awkward, that like, voice... Like Flash Todd's voice actor was shit. On here. Yeah. So and he's he's confused. He's like, "What the fuck's going on?" She's like, "Okay, I understand." He's like, "Mom, I have something to tell you." And she's like, "I understand. You're gay." Yeah. Well, that was that was so random. It's like what? <laughs> <laughs> Which I could I that might be a Justice League kind of a. I guess into a no for the past like ten years because the Flash has been really I guess uh, what do you call it? Very Sex sexual, I guess, and maybe everyone's Sex been thinking that he's been compensating or something like that. Call him sexually ambiguous. Yeah, the, I guess the the thing is, like, I guess people thought maybe he was like in, like compensating, so he's actually gay. So maybe that's a, like kind of a throwback comment. Even or though something. he clearly had Iris. Yeah, I know, right? Fucking weird. And uh, so Barry Allen's like, "Well, fuck, what am I gonna do?" And he realizes, "Wait a minute, I can go uh, talk to Su uh, Bruce Wayne." And we get a look at Bruce Wayne in Gotham. He is fucking up this bitch. This really annoying girl. Name Yo-Yo. Beating Yo. her up. Beating her up. Name is Yo-Yo. It's... Is this Harley Quinn? No, it's not. It's not? Okay. Never mind. Apologies. And so, beats the shit out of Yo-Yo, throws her off a ledge because she will not reveal the Joker's hideout. And he's like, alright, well, I'm throwing you off a ledge. See you, bitch. And then Cyborg comes out of nowhere, voiced by Michael B. Jordan, so fuck you. He, uh picks her up and he's like don't throw him off the roof or blah 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 and he's like you should have let like, him wonderful chocolate man and she says I surrender yeah I was like oh I surrender sea man I'm sure something stupid like that I'm sure that had to be like a Harley Quinn knockoff it wasn't there was a monkey um, I'm not sure but there was a monkey named Harley Quinn that the um, Joker had but that was in the comic book so oh. well uh, fuck, what am I thinking here? Um, where were we? And like, Sue Batman, we need you, the government needs you. Yeah, Cyborg tried to convince Batman to join a special team of awesome people to, uh, head into the war, because apparently there's a war going on between, uh, the, the people of Atlantis and the people of Amazonia? Amastronia or something like that. Amastronia. New Mystera, or something like that. Yeah, the, pretty much the island that, uh, had all, has all the Amazons. Amascara. Femascara, there, there you go, yeah, Femascara, with all the Amazons, pretty much because, um, what happened was, there was, I guess, some battling going on, and they finally had a truce and whatnot, so Aquaman and Wonder Woman were talking, and they eventually started fucking, and then, um, the queen of Atlantis saw this, and the next day she tried to kill Wonder Woman, and she chopped off fucking her head, and then Aquaman got all pissed off, and he's like, alright, there's war. Was a trophy. Yep, and then he's like, alright, we got a war going on now, and kind of humankind, kind of in the middle of the war. And um, pretty much for this, they had a bunch of um, people just on uh, like a, the side of Atlantis, right? Like, can you yes. name some of the figures that were the bad guys on Atlantis? Lex Luthor. No, 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 no. That th they were like on humankind side, like the people who were with uh, Atlantis, oh, though. Atlantis. Oh, um, you will see Orn. You see um, Aqualad, both Aqualads, mm -hmm. one from Young Justice and the one from Teen Titans. That's the one I was trying to think of. Is it that black guy with kind of the blondish hair? Yeah. Okay, that's what I was thinking about. You I see both of those, and I'm like, wow, that's mega cool. Instead yeah, of they had these throwbacks. The other, or, they had both. Yeah, they had kind of had like just a bunch of people from stuff, and it was kind of weird because they had villains and like heroes on both sides, I guess. Yes, heroes and villains, but they all, like the humans came all together to fight the Amazonians and the Themyscarans. But, um, go back here to, um, uh, what are we going back to? Yeah, and we got, like, a little scene here. With Batman and Cyborg when um, they... He, oh, yeah, and they're like... Cy he, Cyborg's trying to convince Batman to join the government in this war, and he's like, you just don't get it, son. We've lost this war already. Yep, and we got, uh, I'm not sure if this is somewhere in between there, but I'm gonna go, ahead, go over it. Uh, Lewis Lane's running around. Oh, no, never mind. We got a throwback to, uh, Trevor, Steve Trevor. The love of Wonder Woman in a different universe, you could say. Uh, he's running, he's running, he's running. Is an, he's a secret agent, and they 
Amazonians catch them, theorems. capture them, and they make them spill the beans and says that uh, Lois Lane is still somewhere around here and she's uh, been gathering evidence for the resistance and they uh, kill Steve One, Trevor. You brought up that it was Wonder Woman. She basically took the lasso of truth, wrapped around his throat, flew up into the air, and snapped his neck. Yep, that was fucking intense and violent and awesome. Wasn't he bleeding from his like mouth and yeah, eye? Yeah, he had blood gushing out of his just every open end out of him. And then she's like smiling after the fact. Yeah, like, she's it was crazy. It was good. And then uh, we get Lois Lane. She's running from people and stuff like that, and a bunch of she's Amazonians. She's also running from um Amazonians. Yeah, she's she's uh pretty much gets like trapped almost, and they're about to get up on her, and then uh, the reverse or a. Uh, a yellow speedster, it seems like, uh, saved her from all the Amazonians, and the Resistance shows up, and you saw that really mean, ugly-looking goblin from the Justice League. I can't remember his name. I forgot his name, too. Uh, with a great voice, and then uh, you had Grifter and some other two goons. Um, are you aware of Grifter? I am. He looks like, um, is he the one who looks like Red Hood? Yeah, because I, that's who I thought it was, and I thought it was, like, kind of supposed to be something like that, where, uh, like, a throwback, because it's, like, when he says to Batman later on, he's like, how come we haven't teamed up together? I was like, okay, like, at first I was like, is that fucking Nightwing? I'm like, no, it's Grifter. I, Grifter. Whatever, but, um, yeah, so, that happened, and we go back, and, Barry Allen goes up to the Wayne Mansion and the place is just run down and gross looking. He breaks in, heads down to the back cave, and he's like, What the fuck's going on here? You see C fours and guns and ammunition all over the place. Oh yeah, fun thing about Batman we didn't mention, he had two pistols he was shooting uh yo yo with. He was just shooting, just unloading these pistols. She was blocking them all with her sword. Yeah, I was like, when the fuck do you see Batman using guns? Not very often, I'd have to say. And then uh you get a... Uh, He's back at the Bain, Ma Wayne Mansion. Barry Allen's looking around. He's like, what the fuck's going on here? And, and uh, Bruce Wayne sees him. He's like, what the fuck are you doing? Not Bruce Wayne, excuse me. <laughs> Thomas Wayne, a.k.a. Batman. I pretty much spoiled it, but uh, Batman sees him, starts beating the shit out of him. He's like, who the fuck are you? And he's like, wait a minute, you're Thomas Wayne. He's like, fuck you. And starts beating the shit out of him more. He's, he's like, like, Bruce. He's like, Bruce. Oh, yeah. He's like, Bruce, stop. He's like, we shut the fuck up and quit mentioning he, my dead he's son. His fingers, he's breaking his fingers. Yeah, he's like, breaking his fingers. He's like, spill the guts, spill the beans. What the fuck's going on here? And apparently, um, he has a, Barry Allen goes to sleep eventually and has his flashback later on. But we're just gonna cover it right now since we're on the story of Batman. Uh, instead of Bruce's parents dying in the alleyway, Bruce Wayne died in the alleyway. And uh, what pretty much happens? He gets killed. Thomas Wayne just beats everyone to death. And his mom goes through a little psychosis moment, and she's, like, holding the dead kid in her, like, hugging him so close. And she looks up, and she's got, like, the blood all around her face, and she looks like the Joker. And she just starts laughing and laughing and laughing, and kind of foreshadows that she'll eventually become the Joker. But that's the only part we saw, but that kind of made the movie for me right there, just seeing, like, that. I was, it's like, only a whole different awesome. side of the Batman mythos. Yeah, which they, which, oh man, they could have went into it, but they didn't. They was just a subtle little thing showing how fucked up, like, this universe was. Yeah, it was bad. It's awesome, though. And it pretty much tells him, he's like, I'm the fucking Flash. He starts beating the shit out of him. He's like, there is no Flash, dumb fuck. And then his, his little ring comes, like, out, and he's like, here, let me show you. And he's like, okay, humor me. And he puts on the ring, a little suit comes out, and it's a yellow little reverse Flash, a, uh... He's so like, he what? What is this? Zoom. And Batman's like, you weren't expecting that? Yeah. And then he pretty much explained to him, he's like, well, this universe is dumb, and we need to recreate the same um, environment that, that gave me my speedster powers. And he's like, okay, cool. And he straps into a chair, and let, uh, lightning hits him, and he about dies. He's got, like, third-degree burns covered in, all, like just all over his body. Yep. And then he wakes up eventually, and he's like, okay, let's try it again. <laughs> And um, they tried again, and then something ba goes wrong, something gets unplugged, and Batman gets thrown over the uh, railing, and he's about to hit this giant picket fence, about to be impaled, but uh, Barry gets the powers back and pretty much saves him, and uh, everything like that, and he uh, eventually changes the suit, and they uh, run really fast, but however, he knows he cannot change the future for one reason. 
And that reason is because there are two speedsters and they both occupy the same power of the speed force and you can't access the full speed force with two speedsters in the same universe. Yes, thank you. I totally forgot I should have mentioned that, but um So we gotta find Mr. Zoom and kill his ass, pretty much. Yeah, which way they don't know about just yet, but um what um what they do next, what they decide is like, all right, well we need to stop whatever's going on. We need to uh, like, let's stop this Themysciran war. Let's help. And then he calls in Cyborg. He's like, Cyborg, we need your help. Meet us at Metropolis, pretty much. And he's like, well, Metropolis, thirty years ago, there was a giant uh, ast uh, asteroid meteorite that hit and destroyed many blocks of the city, and nothing was recovered. And he's like, well, actually, there was. He's like. Cyborg takes us to this place. He's like, I don't access, I don't break rules. And they're like, all right, please, Cyborg. He's like, all right, I guess I will. So they uh, break into this giant lab, and you see a small little scrawny. Emaciated Superman. Yeah, it looks like he has been eaten. A little Ethiopian Superman, pretty much. <laughs> and uh, brings then the government starts attacking them and whatnot, and Superman just starts to flip shit, just lasers everyone dead, and then just flies away. And then it's like, Thanks, okay. Well, powers they go outside they're gonna get raided destroyed by the freaking u.s military yeah then it's... superman comes out for the same like, oh, 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 friends and then he just runs away then, yep pretty too. much and how then... jordan it was a pretty weird thing with how jordan i didn't really oh yeah do. nathan fillion awesome he just goes and he tries to fly a jet i guess yeah, it was it reminded me of like it was like what is this independence day so what they do, they're like, all right, Hal Jordan, you're the greatest pilot in the entire world. We need you to fly this giant alien ship into um, Atlantis area, and we need you to destroy whatever is going on. Pretty much a suicide mission. And he's looking at everything, and he's like, wow, this alien guy was in the ship who was obviously from the Green Lantern Corps. And he said, well, he said one word, and his ring went back into the air and whatnot. And uh, he's like, all right, you'll fly it in there and then go. And then uh, he flies it over there and then dies. The coolest part about Hal Jordan's story was that he's basically the only person, him and Cyborg are basically the only two people who have the same story mm -hmm. without any real changes. And, um, yeah, because, like, Thomas Wayne isn't even Batman. <laughs> That's just a massive, massive jolt. Yeah. In the mythos. And, uh, what other thing happens? We get a, we get a little scene here. Uh, it's on a battleship. You get, a. Uh, Deathstroke, voiced by fucking amazing Ron Perlman, Ron Perlman fucking Alex like Luthor. I was like, Ooh! this is one of my favorite. This is probably one of my favorite scenes, just because Ron Perlman. And they're like, well, we're pretty much behind enemy lines right now, and we need to find out what power source uh, Aquaman is using for this giant uh, destructive weapon he has. And he's like, well, fuck, let's try to figure it out. And they're like, well, we're pretty damn close. And then a giant ship uh Rises from the water and pretty much just kills everyone on this battleship. Bunch of villains, bunch of heroes just working together against the uh, people from Atlantis. And then they eventually get overran and they get killed. Yep. Unfortunately. Lex Luthor, dead. Ron Perlman, or excuse me, uh, Deathstroke. They were the last two men standing and it was pretty awesome. They went down fighting. Yeah, they did. That, was, that, was, that has to be one of my favorite parts. That and probably the outro or the ending, I guess. That in the end, battle. that's the best part for me. Yeah. And then um, Batman says, all right, well, fuck, all hope is lost. And he's like, wait a minute, well, let's actually just go to uh, Thermos, Femistera, Femis, wherever, the Femiscara. island. Femiscara. Femiscara. He's like, okay. And then um, they load up with Shazam kids to turn into giant Shazam later on. New and improved. It's just one Shazam. Like, he's paler and he has a, he looks cooler. What is his name, Captain Thunder? Captain something like it, it, it's basically it's still Shazam. Yeah, it's, I think his name's like Captain Thunder or Captain Thunderbolt, something kind of ridiculous. But uh, yeah. so Batman, Cyborg, uh, the Shazam kids, and the Flash load up in a, a just a plain jet, just start flying, and then they get shot down eventually. But uh, good old Barry uses his arms and slows it down, and eventually drops it, and the uh, war starts out. Aquaman troops revives at Femascara and just all out war is going on and the resistant fighters show up and Grifter and one uh Lewis Lane, Lois Lane are just raining hell down on both sides and just just a lot of shit going on here. Battling occurs between Aquaman and Wonder Woman ex or lovers you could say perhaps they had a thing so for a bit. Works. So this grudge and rivalry is really interesting while they're battling and whatnot and 
the Flash finally sees the uh, Zoom and they battle a little bit, but uh, um, it's a lot of shit going on here. Batman eventually gets shot in the chest, unfortunately. Shot in the tummy. Yeah. I forgot who was attacking Cyborg. Uh, Someone attacked Cyborg and basically ripped his chest fuck. open. Yeah, that part was bad. That was crazy. Like, damn. They ripped yeah, his they open. just fucked up Cyborg here. I can't remember. Was it uh, Orin? I think, it was, yeah, it was Orin. It was um, Aquaman's brother. Yeah, and then he's gonna finish off Cyborg, but then guess who comes back to save the day? Almost Kyle Superman. Hell, Superman come yeah. back down to save his friend, and then and, um, yeah. he dies. He's, anyway. He just like just falls over and dies, and he's like friend, and that's the end of that. <laughs> and uh, what else happens? Uh, they're fighting they and whatnot, like, yeah, and pretty Zoom much and Flash, and they're fighting and fighting, and then in a pretty brutal fashion. Oh fuck! This was awesome. You, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, Aquaman, and Aquaman is fighting, and then his just arm just fucking gets lasered off by fucking Superman, and it's like, what the fuck, dude? Like that was cheap as fuck. His just arm just gets lasered off. Exactly. And then Wonder Woman's like, well, I'm gonna fucking kill you now. And he's like, all right. And he presses a button on his little doodad, and she stabs him right through uh, the collarbone down to his midsection, just kills him. And then that uh, activated the giant uh, bomb in the middle of the ocean, powered by Captain Atom, which is really interesting. And then uh, the bomb was going off pretty much, and they're and the two speedsters are trying to fight each other. And Zoom's getting the better of them because he is a more experienced speedster, and this is his paradox, I guess you could say. And then uh, he's like, "Well, blah blah blah. I'm the only speedster here for us to be alive. And look what you did. It's all your fault because you saved your mom. You created this universe and you fucked everything up." And, and he's and he's like, "Well, I'm alive." And then Batman is like, "Not for long." And he shoots him from behind and just shoots him right in the fucking skull. And he's like, "All right, Barry, get the fuck out of here." And he hands a letter off to Barry. He's like, "Give this to so and so. It's title for Bruce Wayne." Get out of here. And then uh. Barry was running really slow, starting to piss but, me yeah, off. But of course he was running really slow because you um, forgot to add that Professor Zoom stabbed like a very, very sharp piece of cement. Yeah, or, like a cement, cement uh, little... Yeah, cement holders. Steel. Those, yeah, the steel beams. Like, and he stabs them right directly through the hamstring. Yeah, I was going to say that he had a giant uh, little wound on his leg there, which is pretty awesome. Like, it, was a, it was a fucking amazing ending scene here. I know we're going over it really briefly but there's so much stuff going on here like it's hard to remember absolutely every character every like all the people that saved Lois Lane they all eventually got killed yeah like, it was it was crazy like um you see Grifter just firing every last shot he has just trying to defend himself against all the Amazonians and all the people from Atlantis and eventually just killed off like he just goes down fighting and it's like what the fuck heroes are supposed to eventually prevail this is not the case here they killed him by sending an arrow straight through his skull. Yeah, this was not the case. He he went down with the Sean Bean death here from Lord of the Rings. And Jeez, and then and Barry goes running. He yeah, he runs, 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 and pretty much he eventually wakes up. And, uh, but the that. world was also being destroyed because the atom, the machine with the atom blew up, and it was destroying the world anyway. Yeah, so he needed a GTFO. Yeah, so... Lucky him. Yep, and yep. eventually made it back, and that's the end of everything. And oh, she was also um, Wonder Woman. She was cradling um, Aquaman. Yeah, uh, yeah. She held Aquaman, Aquaman's body as the uh, bomb was going off because. Like, oh. I know it just made the it, the rivalry so much more interesting. Yeah. I like really, she doesn't really hate him. Yes, but she as they were just so that she hates him now. Destined to do it forever. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, it was a really good movie. I love the movie. You guys should probably go out of your way to go check this out on Netflix. It's really interesting. I would actually like to pick it up on DVD because of how much I liked it. The alternate story here, the alter alternate characters, the alternate genders on some of the characters is superb. Storytelling, good, good characters, good character development for a short amount of time they had. It was just amazing. Gritty, old, bitter Batman is awesome. Yes, he is. Yeah. So, uh, any last messages for uh, for it? Pick up this. Pick up this damn movie. Yep. Pick it up. Pick up this damn movie. There you go. All right, It'll ladies and gentlemen. You. Go ahead. It'll inspire you to say two ice cream, please. Yes, you'll want fucking three. Three ice cream. Thank you guys for watching this review by Savage and I on the Justice League, the Paradox, the Flashpoint Paradox.
universe thing, galaxy quest. Yes, it was amazing, but at the end credits, you, um, something weird happened. A boom tube opened, and a bunch of um, pterodactyl men showed up. Oh, wow, great. Did we get that was weird. 80 foot dark side returns? And then they say, oh, I guess they're going to be two. Flashpoint Paradox 2. But... That'd be awesome. Yeah, they would. I doubt it would live to the first, of course. But... Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So, well, thank you guys so much for watching, for joining us uh, on this review. Hope you enjoyed the audio. I should have had some slideshow, a bunch of pictures, screenshots from the movies going on here. Hopefully you enjoyed those as well. You can go ahead and follow Savage on Twitter. His Twitter handle is... Dragon Tamer 109. My uh, Twitter handle is at 97 John Boy. You can also find our YouTube channels down in the description. Go ahead and click those links. There's tons of content on our channel you can look for. If you're not liking anything we're uploading right now, currently, you can go ahead and look back at the archives. Just scroll down, load more, and there's, there's tons of videos, tons of playlists for you guys. Just loads of entertainment here on this channel as well. Just like what's going on here on DC Week, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're enjoying with all the reviews, all the gameplays. We're working on a brand new sequel to a special video that we all love. And uh, thank you guys so much for all the support and everything like that. And hopefully we can keep on doing what we're doing. And see you guys later. Bye. Bye.